Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're taking a look around an Aquador 22 hardtop. Um, it's a nice, beautiful little compact cruiser uh, with a single uh, diesel engine. It was built in 1998 and the condition is very nice. Um, Aquador is a top quality brand, uh, it's a Scandinavian brand and they've got a reputation for uh, very high quality boats. Uh, and this one's no exception. The level of fit and finish in it is fantastic. It's a really practical, uh, all round day boat come weekender. This boat's had quite a bit of work done to it recently as well, just to make sure that they're completely um, in tip top condition for our next owners. Uh, and I think it, it represents fantastic value. Uh, and and it, it's, a, it's an ideal boat for this part of the world as well. So we'll, we'll take a look around the boat, I'll let you hear the engine running, show you the features on board. Uh, and you can see for yourself how good it is. The reason that the owners are selling this boat is that they haven't been using it basically for the last three or four seasons. Um, and it's, it's sat in storage for a while, so um, they pulled it out of storage and we've, we've gone through it in detail uh, and they have they spent quite a bit of money on it, uh, just, to get it just to get it ready for sale. One of the things that they did spend uh, quite a bit of money on was the, the trailer. So it's a, it's a double axle UK European spec road trailer. Um, and it's in perfect condition, although it looks a little bit rusty here and there, I mean it is, uh, it's original to the boat so it's um, 14 years old, but it's, uh, it's in perfect um, operating order, it's had a full set of wheel bearings, the, the braking system has been completely uh, overhauled and, and refurbished so the brakes are operating perfectly, uh, and it's a super launching trailer. Uh, and it's one of the things that makes these boats so popular, these baby Aquadors, is that you can put them on the trailer and take them to uh, take them away for the summer holidays, or you can easily move them from sort of one cruising destination to the next. So uh, this one's got a super trailer that you can be completely confident on. I mean, I'd happily send this boat anywhere through Europe on that trailer. It's it's absolutely top-notch condition. Being a Scandinavian boat, this boat's packed with uh, lots of wood and stainless steel. Uh, the swim platform is where it starts. So we got a nice uh, teak laid bathing platform on a, on a twin level. The other thing about Scandinavian boats that you find is there, there, there's loads of usable practical features in it. Um, and again, it starts out here. So we've got a folding stainless steel board and ladder that, that clips up into place whenever you're not using it. Um, we've got a transom wash down shower here. One other thing we should note out here is we've got, this is a folding access hatch to give you access down into the back of the engine, which is great on a steering drive boat because oftentimes maintenance access um, to the, the, the back half of the engine on stand drive boats is extremely difficult. Uh, and then we've got a little storage compartment over on the, the starboard side. This boat also has an aftermarket uh, sort of custom made auxiliary outboard bracket installed there as well. So just if you're going further, further offshore um, or extended period of time, periods of time away from, from the harbour, it's good to have the, the extra security of having a backup outboard. Now there's none included but that bracket would easily carry up to a 9.9 .9 horsepower outboard which would be perfect for, for an auxiliary backup on this boat. In terms of the mechanicals out here at the back of the boat, obviously it's steering drive power and uh, steering drive at this age you've got to be careful making sure that you get one that's in good condition. This one, although you see the sort of remnants of some antifiling paint on it, um, the condition is excellent. There's, there's no signs of corrosion on here. The, the skeg is still in original condition in one piece. The propellers are nice and straight with no kinks or, or bends in them, so um, you can tell that uh, this the stern drive hasn't seen any uh, abuse and it's, it's obviously looked after quite well also. The anodes are in good condition, um, uh, probably could do with being replaced, but they're well over the, the recommended 50% in size. Um, and the, the bellows are going to be changed before the boat's sold, so there'll be a full new set of bellows on there as well. Um, and the gimbal bearing and everything, we've checked that all out, it's all good. So this is a, this is a really solid stand rate. The, the Bravo 3 has a good reputation as well, whenever it's mowed up to that uh, 2.8 litre Cummins, or the 2.8 litre Mercruiser diesel. Um, and uh, I have no reason to believe that this shouldn't perform reliably for another many years to come. We've also got a couple of trim tabs out here as well, that just help you control the, the running angle of the boat whenever you're uh, out in windier conditions. Um, getting into the boat, we took a bit of footage there earlier with the covers up. So you, um, we'll, we'll cut that in now so you can see the, what it looks like with the covers up. But whether the covers are up or down, 
you get easy access into the boat. Between the hardtop canopy at the front of the boat with a full wraparound windscreen and this uh, little aft uh, camper canvas enclosure, the, the whole boat is, uh, is fully enclosed. And if you're out on a bad day, um, you can close the covers up and it's, it's super comfortable. Uh, you're inside, you're totally protected from the elements, it's completely dry, uh, you're not getting buffeted by the wind or anything. And it uh, means you can take this boat out on the coldest winter's day and be totally uh, comfortable inside the boat. The other benefit of it though is that you can take these covers off completely uh, and it leaves the, the aft um, sort of U-shaped seating arrangement on the boat um, exposed to the elements. So whenever you do get those better days, you can take the covers down, you can open up the, the, the two opening uh, roof sections on the top of the hardtop and you get a nice flow of air through the boat um, and you can enjoy the sunshine as well. So with the covers down, you just swing out the, the open and transom gate and this is a really nice feature that Aquador actually did away with I think whenever they changed the they changed from the 22 hardtop to the 23 hardtop um, and it's one thing that, that owners owners really liked um, because it just means that you've got much easier and safer passage in through to the, the, the cockpit of the boat. Again everything's laid in teak and I think the interior of this boat just looks really rich with the, the, the dark navy uh, upholstery on the on the cushions things and the teak um, Hollywood flooring and uh, wooden accents the whole way through the boat. It's got a lovely warm sort of rich feeling. So coming into the boat um, you can either have the seating uh, cushion set up like this and leave the transom walkthrough completely clear or whenever everybody's on board for a day's cruising we can just close the transom gate and put the cushions in here and that gives us a full U-shaped seating arrangement. So the, the gate just snaps closed and it's secured with a spring-loaded bolt and then uh, we just put in the cushions here. So that makes it into a lovely sociable uh, U-shaped seating arrangement which is arranged around a central point where you put the cockpit table in here. What's really striking about this boat is the, the amount of accommodation that they can pack in to, to 22 feet. Um, it's just fantastic and it's, the Scandinavians are great at this. Um, it's a very versatile boat. Whenever you're cruising uh, and underway on the boat, um, this, is your, this is your seating layout. So you've got the wraparound U-shaped seat at the back, which again, everybody's seated nice and low on the boat. There's plenty of handrails all around, so it feels nice and secure and you get great protection from the elements with the hard top or you can fully enclose the boat whenever you put the covers up. Um, and then forward to that, We've got the, the helm seat and passenger seat. Just forward then of the, the, the helm console, we've got um, a V-shaped seat arrangement as well, which whenever you're underway, you can use it literally as an, another couple of seats for passengers on underway. Uh, and it also converts into a double berth at, at, at night time. Um, so yeah, whenever you are uh, moored up for the night, um, we've got the, the, the rear seat area which converts into a double bed. We can drop and drop down the cockpit table and there's a filler cushion that goes in here. So we've got full size double underneath the canvas covers. And we've also got a double in the, up in the forward, the forward peak of the bow uh, in that uh, sort of cutty area. So you can easily sleep uh, two couples on board with, with absolutely no problem at all. We've also got pretty good galley facilities on board. By flipping forward the two, uh, the passenger and the helm seat, we've got on the port side a nice big deep stainless steel single drainer sink um, with a fresh water system hooked up to it. Uh, and we've got nice pull out drawers underneath here for storing your cutlery and odds and ends. On the starboard side, then we've got a, a Wallace a diesel single burner hob as well, um, which runs off its own little diesel supply under the uh, under the helm station um, and again below that then we've also got uh, a little 12 volt refrigerator as well so you'd be surprised what you can rustle up on the the, the galley facilities in here with the addition of the, the cockpit table as well giving you some more sort of countertop space uh, and again it's just another example of the way they can pack so much features in the boat of this size uh, and it means that it is a proper little weekend boat you get a couple could, with a few kids could easily head away for the weekend 
uh, on a Saturday morning and be quite comfortable until, uh, until Sunday evening and take care of, of all the necessaries. The other thing that's really important on a weekender um, is, uh, is a toilet facility, facility on board uh, and we've got one here under the, uh, the port side console. So it's, got, it's a proper pump out sea toilet um, and there's, uh, there's enough room in there to give you a bit of privacy um, whenever you need it. Uh, and it means, again, it just, it just extends the, the usability of the boat, means that it, you can spend the, the full weekend on board without any problems. So the forward area on the boat is very usable, like I said. Um, we've, you, whenever you're underway or sitting at anchor or whatever, you can you can plenty of headroom here for for sitting up. And there's also it's also nice and bright and airy, and it doubles up as the walkthrough um, out to the the fore peak of the bow, um, which we'll show you in just a second. Um, but at night time, you can pull the curtains around and, and put on a filler cushion in this area here. Flip up the step out of the way. And you've got a, a sort of V berth arrangement where you it'll easily, easily accommodate uh, two adults here. This opening uh, centre section of the windshield, which gives you full walkthrough access out onto the the fore deck of the bow, is a very Scandinavian thing. Um, but it's all in very good condition. We've got a the door; it's fully sealed the whole way around. It's bone dry on this boat, and we've got a gas assist strut which holds it in position whenever it, whenever it's open there, uh, and we've got a nice take laid uh, sort of step on the fore, fore deck there just to give you secure fitting whenever you're out there. The reason for this area up here with a full walk through and the, and the centre opening by rails is obviously for, for Scandinavian and Marin whenever they're Marin uh, sort of by to uh, islands and things but even if you're not using the boat there uh, it means that anchoring this boat is a, is a pleasure you get really safe access up onto the fore deck you're not having to sort of skimmy down alongside decks um, and we've got great access to the anchor locker here two big chunky cleats for, for tying off to it whenever you are mirroring up so it means that you mirror the boat to breeze uh, and if you are in, you know, berthed up in the marina rather than having to climb over the uh, the, the side of the swim platform to get all, off and on the dock, you can just hop out over the front of the boat as well. So, um, great practical feature. Uh, another thing that we I know owners use use up here for is, is fishing off. So, if you're looking to do a spot of fishing whenever you're um, out for an afternoon, anchored up somewhere, this is the perfect place to do it. And it's all molded non skid all the way around the, the fiberglass surfaces up here. And we've got a nice high bow rail, so it's safe, uh, safe whenever you're up here. We've also got our water fill point here. You'll notice everything, all the deck hardware in this boat's all stainless steel. It's all high quality and it's a, it's a very good condition. There's no signs of any corrosion anywhere. All the hinge fit, fittings, the, the, the anchor locker catches, like throughout the rest of the boat, they're all, they're all in great, great shape and everything's working as it should be, which is a testament to the quality of the boat um, that a boat of this age is in such good condition, you know. One thing that, that people have at the front of their minds whenever they're thinking about buying a boat of this size, which is a compact weekender, is storage space. Um, and this boat has plenty uh, for the size. We've got a couple of storage sort of pockets underneath the, the port and starboard aft uh, seating arrangement there. Um, and we've also got a little set of three drawers underneath the, the passenger seat. Um, and then we've got additional storage underneath the, the seats and up in the V-berth and they're easy access as well um, and they're fully fiberglass lined and drained and things so anything you pop, pop in there is going to stay nice and, and dry. We've also got, it's not as easy to access but underneath the, the, sort of the rear seats in, in, in both corners of the boat we've got um, lift out bins, I'll just show you one here. So we've got a nice storage bin there for for easy access items uh, and if you need some additional storage space for bigger items we can lift the bin out that gives you access down into the battery bank we just got a temporary battery in there at the minute but that's going to be replaced and installed properly there um, but it's a nice nice deep space gives you really good access to the engine for servicing and also if you get any bulkier things that you don't need to use uh, that often you can you can store them down there out of the way so um, all in all you've plenty of options for storage uh, between easy access storage and 
space for, for things that you don't need to use so often uh, and it means that the boat will easily swallow up all the gear you're going to need for, for a weekend on board. We've also got super storage in, uh, in this hanging locker underneath the helm console. So a full hanging locker. Uh, there's also a dedicated storage position there for the cockpit table. Uh, and this is big enough to swallow up all the filler cushions that you have on the boat, you know, from the, for the aft uh, berth arrangement and also for the V-berth. You can squeeze the filler cushions in there out of the way uh, and, and keep the, the floor space uh, nice and clear. Whenever you're helming this boat, it feels like a proper little ship, you know, it's, it's, uh, the, the protection uh, afforded by the, the hardtop is fantastic and the visibility all the way around is great, you know. Um, the, the actual helm position itself is very well laid out, it's very practical and it's, uh, it's lovely, it's very nicely appointed, you know, you get this nice mahogany steering wheel, everything, the controls feel good on this boat um, and uh, it, it, it's a, it's a, there are, it is a very capable cruiser, the, the, these Aquadors have a reputation of being a, an excellent sea boat, uh, they've got a great hull um, and uh, you can really tell whenever you're underway that uh, you know, the boat's going to take pretty much you know, everything, you, within reason it's going to take whatever the, the coastal waters of the UK and Ireland, Scandinavia are going to throw at it. Um, the actual helm itself, we've got a, a hydraulic uh, a power steering system on here. We've got a, a bank of, of switches for our, our 12 volt systems. We've got controls for our trim tabs uh, on the stern. Uh, and we've got a full suite of marine, marine instruments, both for the engine and we've also got a, uh, an auto helm by data uh, display giving us the, the depth on the keel and the speed of the boat in knots. All the instrumentation is working as it should. Um, it's one of the benefits of having a hard top boat is that all the electronics are all uh, well protected from the elements um, so they tend to last a lot longer than on, than on open boats. We've also got a Garmin 180 uh, GPS map chart plotter on here as well and that sits under traditional uh, chart uh, table area so you can pop your paper charts in there you can see them through the Perspex screen uh, and it's a good uh, backup for your, for your electronic navigation systems. Whenever I am in a seat position, I, I can see clearly right the way around the boat. Um, but if you're out on a, on a nicer day and you want to sort of get that wind in your hair experience, we've got two great big opening uh, uh, sunroof sections on the hard top here. Again, the mechanisms here are in perfect order. You just twist it and, and slide. And we've got uh, just a, a nice wide opening that you can stand up and helm uh, through the roof, so to speak, you know. This boat is fitted with the, the Mercruiser 2.8 litre uh, turbo diesel engine which uh, produces 170 horsepower uh, and it gives the boat a nice little turn of speed. It gets up on the plane comfortably uh, and it'll run up to about maybe 24, 25 knots. Um, and this, this one is in very good condition. It's just recently been serviced. Um, it's running really well. We can fire it up and let you hear it running. The engine access for your daily service checks on the boat again is, uh, is very easy. You literally just take the, the seat cushions off the centre transom walkthrough and it's on two gas assist struts, you just lift up the hatch. You've got easy access then to your oil fill points, your, your dipstick, your um, power steering fluid bottles, all that type of thing. And if you need better access for service in the boat, by lifting out the two bins either side, you can get access right down to the side of the engine and also we've got that access hatch at the transom for getting down into the, the, the back of the engine. So. Um, We'll just we'll, we'll fire the engine up here, and you can you can hear how easy it, it starts uh, and how sweetly it's running. Just a word about. Uh, condition and value whenever it comes to this boat. Um, the boat was built in 1998 uh, and the condition uh, for its age is, is super. I mean the uh, the hard top is in very good condition, all the window seals, the sliding, uh, the sliding roof section and the, and the opening uh, door out onto the foredeck. The weather seals are all very good there. Whenever the boat is out in the elements it's completely bone dry which is good. Um, 
all the switch gear and the electrics and things, I mean, like I said, the boats were well built to start with, um, and it's it's uh, stood the test of time. Everything's operational on the boat. All the upholstery is very good. The covers were, were replaced around 2010, so they're in very good condition as well. Um, and there's really, apart from the sort of the usual areas where they get a lot of use and they're high wear, um, things like the suede seats here, the helm seat and the passenger seat, just where people tend to put their hands and things, um, they're getting a little bit bally and things. Now, there's none, of, none of the fabric has worn through anywhere, and there's no tears or nicks or anything. Um, but it's just, it's just the usual sort of wear and tear you're going to get on a boat of this age. And, and the other area that where it shows up um, probably the most is the, is the flooring. Whenever you're using natural materials in, boat, in boats, like your woods and that type of thing, they're going to wear. It's like having a wooden floor at home. So this, the, the floor could benefit from being sanded back, uh, re-oiled and, uh, re and sealed. Um, and it would, it would come back up just pristine. But I mean, the owners are conscious that... Uh, they're keen to sell the boat and while they have spent quite a bit of money on having the boat validated, fully serviced, getting the trailer fully repaired and things, obviously they don't want to get too involved in spending a huge amounts of money. And these, these are the sort of things that you're going to expect on a boat of this age. The boat has not been abused um, and it has been well looked after as far as, as far as I can tell over the course of its lifetime and it should give our next owners um, fantastic use over many years to come. Uh, I'm, I'm completely confident and relaxed about the, the condition of this boat, uh, both cosmetically and mechanically. Um, and I think that she's going to make a fantastic buy for her next owners. There's not too many boats that have, give you this level of accommodation, this level of quality, with the fully enclosed hard top in the price bracket that, that we've advertised this in. Um, it does represent fantastic value for money and you can be pretty much guaranteed that this boat's going to hold it, provided you look after the boat and keep it in the same sort of condition that it's in. And even if you're prepared to do some of the little bits and pieces of, of tidying up, maybe have this, the seats recovered, maybe um, just uh, refurbish the floor throughout, um, then there's absolutely no reason why you should expect to, to, uh, this boat to depreciate very much at all, if any, over the next two, three, four years. Um, so for those reasons, I think it makes a great buy. And, you know, it's a great entry-level cruiser. It's at a manageable sort of price point. Um, and running costs, maintenance costs are low because it is, after the, at the end of the day, it is only 22 feet long. It's got a single diesel engine and it's on a, it's on a road trailer. So you're not going to be getting hit with huge marina costs for lifting the boat in and out, for storage. You, you don't have to service twin engines, but yet you still get a lot of the benefits that you get whenever you move up into those bigger sort of 30 foot boats. Um, and certainly uh, in terms of the accommodation and usability, as, as compared against uh, a diesel American sports boat, for example, um, you're getting every bit as much, uh, and if not more, uh, usability and practicality out of this boat that you will get out of one of those. And, and this boat's going to hold its money much better than, than your typical uh, sort of US sports boat. So I think it just makes a lot of sense um, as, a, as an investment and a purchase for, for, for lots of different people. and. It's, uh, it's a really good example. I was keen to get my hands on it to sell it because I think it's such a great boat. Uh, and I know that Ecuador have a strong following and, and this, this type of Scandinavian boat uh, generally has a, has a great following uh, amongst boaters that are passionate about getting out any day of the year in this part of the world. So I don't expect this boat's going to hang around too long. Um, if your, your interest has been pricked enough that you want to come and have a look at the boat or you've got a few more questions about it, just please give me a call or drop me an email and I'd be delighted to, to talk through the, the features and the benefits of this, this Aquador 22 hardtop with you. Thank you for watching.